Good day everyone, Metal with Helen Briggs here and today we were down at Legoland to check out the new Mythica which is open today, the 29th, 2021. And we may also just check out a few of the other rides and things which have opened since filming the last video. This video is brought to you by McCatsum Holiday Homes in Margate and Broadstairs. Great for a week's holiday or a weekend escape, being just over an hour east of London, UK. Treat yourself to amazing sunsets, a Lego wall, or great food. Visit www.macatsim.com and mention this YouTube video and we'll look after you. So you got your main flight to the skyline over there, and coming across here to Fire and Ice Drop Ride, and then further along you got your retrofitted squid surfers, and then over this side you got some creature encounters. First up, we'll check out Flight of the Skyline, as that is your anchor ride for this new area. In the queue, some of the models that are going to be in the actual ride video. We've got some nice Lego birds and mythical creatures in the queue. Some of the models are pretty interesting. I'd be curious to see if they do end up making these as official sets. It's great that they've got some studded boards for kids to play with, but just no Lego. Hopefully. All the social distancing stuff will go away soon and they can have some bricks here for the kids. Unsurprisingly, as a new ride, we've had a technical difficulty, so we're all just sort of now sitting down and waiting for the ride to resume. I think we've been in the queue now for almost an hour. And apparently the ride's just come back and everyone started cheering really loudly. Inching closer and you got the reserve and ride getting through as well, so if you're really desperate and want to get on it, it might be worth going that. Into another building area and needing to know you know what colors. And you get strapped into these seats for the ride. So just come off the Mythica ride with kids and that was really great fun. It reminded me of a version of Avatar that you have in the Disney parks in the States. You get into like a uh, little, what they call flight sort of thing, you get taken up, it spins around, there's like a giant curved screen so it's really immersive and then as you're flying through it you're getting the 4D effects with the water and things like getting mist and splash and stuff like that so um, really immersive and actually to the point where as you're sort of gliding around and then you kind of have to get your feet up and things so almost interacting trying to dodge things. Uh, kids really enjoyed it. I thought it was a bit scary and I liked it. Yes. But they, I didn't see everything like I my eyes for a bit but um, it wasn't real and you maybe think that it would be on the floor but actually the chairs would turn round and then um, you would go into a cavern wait on the Maximus the fly, the sky lion would pick you up and then he'd fly you around Mythica and it was really fun but once we went into a cave and the four headed um, dragon uh, roared and the cave collapsed would you go again? Except for the queue. The queue was quite long. Quite long, yeah. So I think it's going to be a great addition to the park and it was lots of fun and really enjoyed it. So definitely if you're down around Legoland, definitely check it out. And as what appeals to all little kids is the playground. So I'm sure we're going to enjoy this one. You have the new Hydra's Challenge here. The old squid surface. It's good. We've done a good job revamping that. Going further around the playground. The Mythica entry portal and the revamped food shop, which is now the Hungry Troll. With the obvious reason there. You're a four headed monster, which is the main theme in the new Mythica ride itself. The fourth head being the snake. So. And great Lego build for the Hydra's Challenge. We've also got some of these AR activation points for the app that you can download and watch some fun with. You've also got this creature creation area which is being able to build some creatures with Lego. So you go through and build your creature and then put it on this light relief little Lego sculpture. So it gives a bit of an idea of the queue length for times. It's certainly getting a bit on the long side, but nothing too completely ridiculous. 
and this is now open. Let's have a look inside. Rebuild the walls because you built something out of place and add it on there. So it looks like they've opened this up now and you've got some hands-on experience just playing with some Lego and building stuff. You've also got the shows operating back up again. For more details of what it's like at the moment, check out the link around the video to the previous video about what Lego Land is like now in 2021. So overall the new area is pretty cool. They've obviously gone through and spent some money on it. It's great to see them doing that. Everything looks nice and fresh. Uh, doesn't seem to have been too many problems today. They're all sort of money back down. Obviously the sun's now coming out, so it's going to stay great down here. Definitely if you are making a trip out or coming up to Legoland, definitely recommend it. A little behind the scenes given it was the first day of Mythic opening with all your vloggers, YouTubers, TikTokers, Instagrammers. So we've arrived out at Legoland today a bit early. It's only about 8.30 at the moment, so still got about another hour or so. But uh, this, mostly the car park's empty. Probably maybe 100 cars at best. But they've definitely got signs up all around the entrance, basically pre-booked tickets only today because it's completely sold out. It is a little strange to see it pretty much empty and not really all that many people here. Hopefully uh, get a good spot in the queue to get in. So it's looking quite promising. We are... I'm guessing maybe the 20th people here. So then you get led into the next holding area, which allows more people to get in front of you, even if they came after you. Can you queue up on the side, please? Just please be here. You have to have more As you just heard, you had a dumb suggestion by staff. They push you off to the sides, and then more people who came after you can just come straight up through the middle. It was really disorganized and chaotic. They ended up opening the other direction first, so we then had to double back and go down to the mini land holding area. So even though we are here and you can see this huge crowd forming up there, they opened up the entrance behind you to Lego City five minutes before they opened up this sword area. We're then running straight to Fly to the Lion. So we've gone from probably the 20th person at the actual main gate to probably the 500th person by the time we've managed to get down here just because of the random way that they open the gates in a backwards format. And on the first day the queue has blown out to almost two hours, 120 minutes. Good thing that we're at the front of the queue and to run down the hill sort of see looking back up the other way people's going on if you've enjoyed and or gotten something out of this video be sure to hit that thumbs up button and or consider subscribing what are your thoughts are you looking to go to legoland and experience this new mythica area sound off in the comments below or just leave the word legoland and we'll know that you watched to the end of the video all in all we had a great day and really enjoyed it and the sun came out in the afternoon so it made it a great may sort of day if you want to check out what legoland windsor uk is like in 2021 check out this video here if you want to check out a full walkthrough of the park in a couple minutes click this video here alternatively if you want to see another video video on how to save money at Legoland, check out this video. Otherwise, this video may be of interest. That's it from us here at Family Bricks. Thanks very much for watching. Until next time, when we talk about all things Lego and lifestyle.